Whatever the reason, a recent estimate puts the seroconversion rate to JC virus positive at about 2% per year. We currently are monitoring her with uh, MRI scans about every six months, and we do the JC virus antibody testing every three months to see where the status of that is. And if at any point, you know, we change that status, we may have to consider going to an alternative therapy. Her follow-up scan in 2013 has been stable. She has these significant areas of encephalomalacia with some cortical atrophy and ventricular dilatation, uh, but there's no active lesions and she remains clinically stable overall. I'm just more present and I'm more aware of what's going on around me. I'm able to take a more active approach to, to life in general, but even at the gym, my trainer has me doing more different activities. I'm pulling on the rope and I'm, you know, doing things that I, I wasn't even able to stand, let alone to pull on the rope or catch a ball or kick a ball. I'm able to kick a ball. She had to work hard in physical therapy to get back to the point where she was able to get out of the wheelchair but had to use the walker primarily and she's been you know working hard and now really uses the cane mostly when she's out of the house for just extra security and, and balance but around the house she can actually manage without using any sort of assistance and I'm thankful that she remains JC virus antibody negative.